about it. Just, just be. Oh, I was fighting for my life. That is good. That is good. That is good. So we're going to jump right back into this cookie thing here. Oh, wow. God, shit. So, listen. It's, um, fall is here. Fall is here. Somebody say fall is here. And we got a couple of uh, good things that the girl in here is Grace a Smith. And I'm gonna do my best to work with what we have here. So um, it's just gonna be a bunch of little clips of a, uh, a bunch of little things. So like um, I'm gonna make some homemade. <sighs> tomato sauce and we have some banana peppers a plant corn which we already cooked some of that up and again you know guys i love my zucchini but here we have spaghetti squash yeah i'm excited to work with it so i don't know we're gonna see what's next i don't have anything planned i'm just trying to jump back in to the scheme of things and let you guys know but I thank you for your encouragement for your prayers and all the good stuff and God I thank you for life thank you for life Father God in the name of Jesus no weapon formed against us to prosper in the name of Jesus I thank you for the ability to cook hey to talk without hacking to talk without a coffin in the mighty name of Jesus thank you Jesus for those of you who have been following me and hearing me weeds and weeds and weeds in the background, hallelujah, I come to proclaim the glory and healing of the Lord. Hallelujah, I'm going to have church. We just want to give thanks to God. Thank you, Jesus, for the harvest. Thank you for the harvest, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, so let's get to cooking these meals, Father God. Give us ideas in the name of Jesus, Father God. Just Take your will, Father God. I'm just going by faith and not by sight. I don't have anything planned, but I just want to listen to some beautiful, 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 beautiful garden of your creation, Father God. So I ask that you anoint my hands in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And watch over everyone that's come across this video and their family, Father God. And no man, I proclaim, I proclaim, I decree that no man goes hungry. In the name of Jesus. Okay. Mm, excuse me, guys. Okay, let's get back to the uh, video. So, we have our uh, tomatoes all nice and um, scored and blanched and all that good, good, good. We're going to have our pan heated up. And we're going to get that heated. And we're going to dice up a whole... Large tomato. Some might say it's medium. To me, it's large, but nonetheless, we're gonna do the one. We're gonna dice it up. So we can get a saute with the two nice chunky chunky cloves of garlic. And I don't know what I did to my fingers, guy, but it is burning. But nonetheless, we're gonna keep it moving. Uh, probably starting this onion ball because my finger. Uh, uh, we don't make excuses around here. So, it's up, it's whatever. It's whatever we're gonna get these ones diced up the best we can. Be careful going in, you wanna go in a little at a time, you know. And, um, because we don't want you to cut yourself. And...
kill these tomatoes. See how they are uh, in boiling water? They're uh, going a little bit quicker, quicker, quicker as I expected. Um, we're gonna. I was talking to my granddaughter. I wanted to show y'all how I scored them. If y'all can see, I scored them right there. See those X's? He scored them. He dropped them into boiling water. And you see how they start peeling? It makes them easier to peel like that. So you can check them out when they start doing that. And then it would be nice to have a, a bowl of ice cold water to start the process of cooking. But again, like I said, I was running my mouth on the phone. So we're going to try to get these off the water and then out the pot and then out the hot water as quickly as possible. And that's still can um, use a few more seconds there because we are, we are making our fresh, fresh homemade tomato sauce. That's what. That's what we are making. Fresh homemade tomato sauce. Like I said, I'm really excited. And it's, this is not a formality. We're just doing what we do. Just in the kitchen. At, uh, what time is it? That's 12.25 a.m. I, I was uh, chilling. Didn't have anything to do. And I knew I had these vegetables all washed up in the sink. And, um, so I got up, decided to just do some, some cold water. Mm. And be careful, see? I'm being... Informal guys, one camera in the hand. Pillows, tomatoes. Mm hmm. I've been doing. Thank you guys for your prayers. Like, guys, I'm telling you. Um. I want to sit down and have a real serious talk with you guys because you are watching my process, but you really don't know who I am and what's going on with me and why I'm going through what I'm going through as far as my health and, you know, so... Um, and... You guys need to know, you know. You guys need to know, because I'm not dying. Trust me, I'm not going to die. You know, God has an assignment for me, as he has an assignment for you. I'm not going to die. So, but, however, you know, I may go through things um, physically that look like I'm going to die. Because that's how the devil wants to deceive you deceive me to have us frightened and afraid like somebody's going to die. But nobody's dying. Trust me, nobody's dying. No one is going to die until God says it's time for us to go. Okay? So we're going to get this But I do want you guys to get to know who I am in Christ Jesus and the mandate that's on my life. Okay, so we're going to take these and we're going to separate those because we still have to cut up our onions and our garlic and have a little sauteed. And um, once we get those onions and garlic cut up and ready to saute, I will be right back with you guys, okay? In the meantime, they are peeled. And if you see how I did that, then you are uh, on time. <laughs> In the meantime, God, be extraordinary. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, honey, they are good. You know, it's tomato season. And I get a lot of free produce this time of year. So, I had ran across some more tomatoes yesterday. And this is the second batch. And I cooked that corn on the cob and, and that 
to make this just because it was just one left. And I grilled it and I just let it cook along with the tomatoes, so don't judge me. Now I had a um eggplant. But you got long uh purple ones. So I'm saturating those. Well I'm not saturating. I'm drawing the water out of eggplants. You have to sprinkle a little salt on them. And the longer you let the salt sit on it, the more moisture it draws out of the eggplant. So that way when you fry it, it can maintain its crispiness. Or however you want to do it. If you want to grill it, it will still have some texture to it instead of, you know, being soggy. So that's going to sit here. Um, actually, for maybe over an hour. And you're going to turn it over and do the other side. Okay, we have um, those tomatoes all washed up. I'm just going to put them in the refrigerator. Um, these are some seasoned chicken thighs from last night. I'm going to cook it today. I think I'm going to um, make a Spanish, an Italian dish with that sauce there with the chicken here. Nice and seasoned. Take it out to the room temperature. And of course, guys, we have our... Um, pepper steak, took that out, and we're going to scrape all that grease off the top before we add some fresh peppers and put on some rice. This is <clears throat> stuff that I want to cook up this so it won't go big. Um, I already have these jalapeno peppers. <coughs> I pulled them out of the refrigerator so I can remind myself to do something with them before they start going bad. Uh, I ran across some apples yesterday, which I am going to cut these up, honey. I made me some buttermilk fried apple chips last week, honey. When we get these things here, because you have to peel these and let them uh, sit for several days until so they start turning brown, get the natural sweetness out of them. And you uh, let them soak in some, um, after they get brown, you um, put them in your buttermilk and you put your cinnamon, whatever, whatever, and let it marinate there. And I'll tell you with some cornstarch, deep fry, nice neck. Uh, zucchini, uh, she's just going to hang around for a little while. I'm not going to open her yet because I have, <coughs> excuse me, one already open. This is the job right here. This was spaghetti, spaghetti squash. I'm struggling to get open. It is so hard to get open. So we want to um, get this open. So we can roast the spaghetti squash, roast the spaghetti squash in the oven, and just have the stuff done. You you know it doesn't, so it won't go bad. I just don't want to go bad. I'm trying to get you on the tripod. You know, you want to appreciate um the vegetables or. And plus, they give them out free across the street at the pantry. Um, I'm not going to take this stuff and then going to use it. You know what I mean? So, I just got to get this thing open up. It's struggling with getting this open. It's hard. <sighs> now, I might just come right open since I said it's hard. <laughs> Now be careful with these things. Ugh. And it could just be me not having all my strength, you know? Because I never had this problem before opening up a squash. Woo! Is this is just. Oh, we guys. That's me. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think we're gonna do it now. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh. 
Oh my goodness. Oh. My, 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 my. What a job. Uh, we did it. Woo wee. So I'm gonna put this in one. Oh. Oh. Some parts in the paper. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. What a job, guys. Ooh. Some parchment paper. And some oil. And some salt. And I have an oven um, on 400. Well, it's climbing up to 400. Hmm. And I'm wondering if I should put them on 450. I'm going to set that temperature and like to get with y'all. i let you, you guys know. I'm going to check a couple of recipes. Because of the size of it, baby. I might want to just slow roast it. <clears throat> wow, guys. That was a job. Thank you for hanging in there with me. Oh. Look at that. It still won't give me a way to get on. <clears throat> well. Gonna roast it with the seeds in it. Mm. Part the way. Okay. I like the um. I don't want to dry out. Uh huh. And we're going to put some salt. Turn around, around. Both sides. Make sure it gets nice and uh, oiled up and pepper salt. Oven. Once my oven gets to, well, it's on. You know, mine's creep up and it's heating up to 400. I'm going to check the temperature, and when I come back, guys, I let you guys know if I kept it on the 400 or if I turn it to 450. And we're going to get this baby roasted, and then I'll let you know how long um, it roasted for. And, you should see all the tools it took me to try to get this thing open. <laughs> ah, I use all these knives to get this thing open. Not bad. That's my spoon for my... Not bad.
In the meantime, guys, be extraordinary. Do some wonderful things today. Look how lovely they are. <laughs> okay, so I wrote them upside down for one hour on 400 degrees. So, um, that's what it looks like. Look at that, nice and loose. I don't even want to bother, it looks so good. This is a big taste like. I don't even want to bother, y'all, it's so pretty. Mm. Oh, wow. I'm listening to this young lady on YouTube. Her son just got. I used to watch her when I first started back on YouTube. Asia, Life of Asia, y'all. Life of Asia, you guys probably are familiar with her. I'm going to decide what I want to stuff it with, or I'm just going to take it all out. I'll let you guys know when I'll be back. Mm. Okay. Here's our uh, tomatoes. I have a uh, radish in here that was pickled in vinegar, salt, and water with some serrano peppers. Um, and uh, I have a, I think I have a Spanish base. Yeah, I have some, um, it's, uh, it's a Spanish, um, uh, instead of Italian dish, um, I can't get my food together, uh, uh, sriracha, um, oh, wow, oh, goodness gracious, God, I'm gonna put it in the comment below, but it's, uh, a cilantro base, <laughs> cilantro base, yeah, uh, marinade and all that good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> so it was in there, and so we still have our eggplants hanging out. We're going to put this in the oven. As you can see, I seared it off. And, um, yeah, I'm excited to see how it tastes. And we have these things. I'm trying to decide how I want to do these. Do I want to uh, get them out? Do I want to stuff it? Or, you know, uh, with some Parmesan cheese roasting. But by the time... And we wrap this up, goes to bad boy to be finished. And I gotta make the rice <laughs> for our um uh pepper steak over here. And I think I'm grilled these. Yep, so it's it's just all over the place, guys. Just stuff I'm getting together so they won't go bad. And I have you know, I enjoy cooking, so it's nothing formal. Gotta go. And the bad boys going to oven. I got it on 350. Um, I'm going to leave it on 350. Yep. Until the meantime, be extraordinary. Okay, guys, here's our chicken with some crumbling queso, queso fresco cheese. And our eggplants with some queso fresco. So, I was thinking about just um, cleaning them out. Mm. Like spaghetti squash and with a little bit of uh, butter, salt, and pepper, and keeping it uh, natural. Uh, we can put some sauce on it, add some more queso fresco, or I was thinking about uh, adding a little provolone or mozzarella cheese and 
putting some sauce in it and toasting it like a pizza. So we still thinking about it guys. But the eggplant is delicious with the um crumb of cheese when I ate a slice so already delicious. In the meantime, be extraordinary and we still have the rice to go with our um pepper steak and I'll be done. So we are at the finality. <laughs> Finally, our spaghetti squash. I made it like a pizza style. Mm hmm. Look at that. Mm. Let's taste it. It's extremely hot. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. And it tastes like pizza. Yes, it does. So let me explain to you how we got here. Um, the whole tomatoes, the homemade um, tomato sauce. Of course, pizza has oregano. So I have oregano, garlic, and for homemade sauce with some butter, mozzarella cheese, and provolone cheese. See, it was a way that I incorporated cheese in it. And then the butter that was on top with the provolone cheese, I kind of like folded it to squash over top with the provolone cheese and then, and then the mozzarella cheese is down in it. And it tastes like pizza, guys. Mm. Wow. I'm gonna rinse our fork off. And moving on down the road here, we have our Green onion, parsley, butter, that's my rice. <laughs> nice and fluffy, tasty, and good. Buttery. Mm. Wow. That's my rice has um, a distinct flavor to it. Now, I normally cook butter, basmati rice with coconut milk, but I didn't want to take away or add too, too many flavors to the palate. So I just kept it simple. Just kept it simple. Could use a little bit more green onions, but it's never too late. You can always saute some up and toss them in there. Mmm. Well, as you can see, that's my piece of chicken right there. <laughs> Be careful of uh, the cilantro pepper. Because I bit into one of them by accident. <laughs> and it was hot. And then you have your radish. You know, you want to, um, then I have a little bit of crumbled cheese on it. Queso friso. Mm. Oh, come on, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. Let's put this on top of that, right? Excuse me, guys. <laughs> you can put this on top of that rice. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Nice and moist. You got the radish in there. You want to make sure you get the, um, just stay away from the peppers. The peppers add a nice little spice, but you don't want to eat them. Not unless you like spice. 
Ma guerri un... Io no... Ma poi mi sono detto che c'è... Ai, vuoi mai no? Now, if those edged peppers... Choose this pepper stick didn't make a difference. I think I saw it taking like two minutes and butter. And as soon as the gravy started getting hot, I turned it off. Because you don't want to overcook the meat, you don't want to overcook the vegetables, and you just want some vegetables with, um, you know, trans translate its flavors. Uh, guys, I can't eat another bite, but I'm telling you, when I tasted this, I mean, the pepper is coming through. How many times have you eaten pepper steak and rice and you don't get the pepper flavor? I can't eat another bite, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, that wraps up my series for today. Hallelujah, God, we want to thank you in the name of Jesus for the food that has been prepared here today. We want to bless the hands that cook them. And we want to thank you for everyone that's watching this video tonight, Father God. And we pray that no one goes hungry. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, God, the eggplant things, <laughs> they were a snack. <laughs> anyway. In the meantime, be extraordinary in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm.